Good day ladies and gentlemen. For today's topic we have computing for discount period and credit period. So let's start first with the discount period. But first let's read our terms. This is read as 210 and N30. Which means the buyer gets 2% discount if he or she pays within 10 days from the invoice date. If the 10 day period has passed, the buyer will be given 30 days from the date of the invoice within which to pay his or her account without any additional charges. The 10 day period is called the discount period and the 30 day period is called the credit period. So let's start first with our date of invoice which is March 2. Discount period which is within 10 days. Deadline for the discount period which is March 12. So you might be asking guys, how did I get the deadline for the discount period? This is very easy. All we have to do is we have to count 10 days from March 2, which will give us March 12. So if the buyer pays between March 2 and March 12, he or she gets the 2% discount. But if he or she pays on March 13 or later, he or she gets no discount because the discount period has already been passed. And now for the credit period. So all we have to do here is we have to count 30 days from March 2. But we cannot simply add 30 plus 2, since the most number of days in a month is 31. So what we have to do here first is we have to get the total number of days in the month of March, which will give us 31 days. And then we minus it by the invoice date, which is 2, which will leave us only with 29 days in the month of March. So I want to ask you a question guys, what's the month after March? That's correct, it's April. So we get one day from April to complete our 30 day credit period because we only need one day to complete our 30 day credit period which will give us 29 plus 1 and that equals to 30. So that means April 1 will be the deadline for our credit period and this also means that the buyer has until April 1 for the deadline for the credit period. I hope you liked the video and found it interesting. Please leave a subscribe button and thank you for watching.